the aisle and take your sign as quickly and as safely as possible to allow other customers to pass by and take their sign. Well, free Wi Fi is now available on today's flight. Well, it looks like we just go to the garage. Follow the arrows, follow the signs. Just go to the President's Circle and pick a car, they said. Ooh, why is the light on? Oh well. That took a little bit of time, but she says she gave me a better one. So I'm right by the elevator, but Look at this. It's like a, it's like a little sweet. All right, well, there you go. Thanks. What did I drop? Oh, I dropped the key. Microwave, refrigerator, safe, under the rather large television. Now, uh, I will say that at yeah, four points, I knew it. It's a little older, so most of the stuff is dated, but I don't care. Work's paying, and it doesn't matter to me. That's okay. Ooh, big stand in shower. Please, slide door gently. Okay. Whew, hi, I'm tired. I've had dinner and I'm ready to go to bed because I have to get up fairly early in the morning. I don't have to, but I'm choosing to because Saturday we, you know, I'm quote unquote on call. Um, but yeah, I need to go in for a little bit, make sure they're okay and then leave. Uh, welcome to the gardens of Ponsacoro St. Francis. Chapel. <laughs> this place is uh, pretty nice. So I uh, made my stop at the hospital. Met one of my colleagues there who was working, checking out uh, stuff. And uh, now I'm just heading back to the hotel so I can change, put on a pair of shorts, and then find something fun to do this afternoon. I just passed what looked to be a really cool park. So that's an option, and it's relatively close. Oh, and maybe, you know, find a snack or something for lunch. Cool. All right, that's the Saturday uh, morning update. Is it still morning? Yeah, it's still morning. Okay, that fence down there is the pool area. There's a little bit of trail. And this is the view I didn't get. They moved me to the quote unquote better room. And instead of, instead of lake view, I have a parking lot view, but the room is supposed to look nicer. All right, we have our conference rooms.
pool area, which this cracks me up right here. Don't use the stairs. The stairs look safe to me. Oh. And they've got a nice bar. I wish I was uh, going someplace more interesting. I did look up some places that it might be fun to go. But it is, you know, a little after one and I got called. <laughs> they uh, are in fact gonna have a surgical case here at the hospital. So I'm just pulling back into the hospital after having gone back to the hotel for a while. Ate my leftovers from last night, all three wings that I had left over. And uh, all right, that's what I wanted to update you on. Back in the car, back in the Mustang convertible. And parked opposite where I was parked before right next to a big pickup truck that I didn't park to last time because the, he's a little close to the line on the other side but he's fine on this side uh, here we go they're building because they can apparently this hospital is uh, less than 20 years old 15 or so years old and uh, it's pretty nice actually as I said before Tuscan theme oh there's people these are my kind of people. I mean, I don't need to tell you where I'm standing. Oh, yeah. You can taste the whiskey. Can we yep. taste the cream to men? I bet you can. Yeah. Yeah, actually. I bet you could, yeah. Especially someone that doesn't drink and taste. men of distinction of some kind speakeasy found a speakeasy i'm having a drink <laughs> on youtube so here i just miss you i don't know where i am it's just a bookstore well, that was fun. Um, I'm riding next to some train tracks and there's actually a train up there. Uh, I am head back to the hotel after dinner with some colleagues, just two of us, three of us total. At a fun restaurant, burger joint, um, that was in an old firehouse. And then uh, Melinda and I ended up going to a uh, speakeasy. Uh, we walked out. And some lady in a flapper outfit, looked, she looked cute, and Melinda's like, I love your outfit! So we were talking to her from across the street, and uh, she was going to a place, and she said, you should check it out! And so we walked over there, and you go inside, and it was, as you'll see, was just a bookstore. But I said, oh, it's a speakeasy, and Melinda's like, what's a speakeasy? You've never been to a speakeasy before? So we had to go in, there was room at the bar. Uh, we each had a drink and neither one of us really drank it. <laughs> uh, all right, I got to pay attention where I'm driving. See you, bye. Well, it's a little after nine and um, I'm going into the hospital because they have cases and they have questions. Uh, here we go again. It is Sunday and we're going to work. <laughs> it's lovely though, isn't it? The uh, voice in this elevator is kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Doors opening. Okay to enter. See what I mean? That's kind of funny. I've only gotten lost just now. Getting back to these Doors elevators. Open. Doors closing. Please stand clear. She's demanding. Bossy, even. So I'm at the end of the OR hall. Wow, out the window here. Right where the construction is. Hmm. And there's the emergency room canopy, so I'm parked like over there. So we're looking back towards the parking lot. There you go. All right, I gotta find CRNA. Well, it's a rainy exit from the hospital at after five o'clock. <laughs> Ended up being here all day. Oh well, things got fixed that needed to be fixed, so that's good.
at least one thing did. I don't know about the others yet. I just got the nicest text kind of out of the blue. So I'm leaving the hospital here at the end of the day. It's Sunday. And um, a, a, a somebody I've known for a long time, acquaintance more than friends. And don't take that the wrong way if you ever watch this, Kristen. Um, but I, we've, we've known each other for a very long time. And she texted me out of the blue because her daughter is in a church production of Godspell. And she took the time to text me because uh, she remembered seeing me doing that show at my church when I was a freshman in college. And uh, it was just, you know, she didn't have to do that. And it was just so nice of her to do that. You know, she said, that's when I knew you were a rock star. Um, she's actually involved in the, in the uh, movie industry in Cincinnati. And I've sung for um, her uh, for Christmas caroling and stuff a couple of times. And um, anyway, it was just, a, it's just heartwarming. That, that was extra for her to do, and I appreciated it very, very much. You know how I feel about Arby's in general, but it is kind of cool that they kept the old sign. Good for them. It's like one of two. I mean, the one that in my part of town is the only other one that I know that's got one. <laughs>